every single day we seem to get more and more updates on the highly anticipated Project Highland Model 3 refresh. So there's a chance the new Model 3 could be introduced with a more performance-based option, including for the first time ever, steer by wire with a yoke and steering wheels. A video here that shows us the alleged uh, seats going in the Model 3 that will be ventilated finally. So possibly Fremont and China at the same time will be pumping out brand new Model 3s with this new design sometime in the next couple of months. <laughs> A few test models were spotted uh, on roads over the last week or so with some particularly interesting changes. One shows what many are speculating to be uh, China-only Tesla wheels here in the US, so maybe some wheel configurations could be changing. And then also one model in particular had privacy covers on the back windows of the car, with some also speculating that we could see either some bigger changes to a hatchback portion of the car, at least the trunk and back area, or maybe some interior changes that are gonna happen in the back as well that Tesla doesn't want uncovered. Again, there have been some rumors that we could see potentially a rear screen in the back of the Tesla, so that could be cool to see. Uh, but uh, as of right now, we don't exactly know what those privacy covers are hiding, but cool to see more of these refreshed Model 3s on the road for their final stretch of testing. But this time, the Model 3 Project Highland was spotted alongside the Cybertruck in New Zealand. This is where Tesla does their winter testing and validation for vehicles as they they get close to production. And they've even shared detailed videos of their winter testing there. So it's pretty clear that when we see a covered up Tesla in New Zealand, this is what's happening. These photos were posted by at CybertruckNZ on Twitter, and we can clearly see both cars. Tesla has all of their vehicles lined up here, including the Cybertruck peeking out from behind that building. In any case though, in front of that are two Model 3s with the same coverings Tesla has been testing them with in the US. That may even be a third one to the right there because it has the same reflective tape on the back of it. But it's hard to tell for sure. While this may seem like small news that Tesla is testing their cars in New Zealand, it's actually a big sign that they are nearing production on these vehicles. This is typically one of the last steps when bringing a new vehicle to production, and both of these are expected very soon. These are likely the finalized prototypes, and it's only small tweaks from here on out. They, based on our conversations we've now had with at least a dozen employees across various roles within the company, Highland's interior will feel fresher, more modern, and much closer to the look and feel of the recent Model S and X redesign. So relatively, I don't think the S and the X are really all that different in terms of the design aesthetic. Obviously, they've got the ventilated seats. We've heard some rumors about that for the Model 3 Highland already. Maybe we see a bigger screen, some more emphasis on gaming, like we saw with the S and the X refresh. But I think we all have a good idea of what Tesla likes the interior to look like, and I would expect it to look like that without any major surprises. They do say that a rear screen has been experimented with, but no word on whether or not that would be included. We know from previous leaks that Tesla is moving towards simplifying the design of the Model 3 with specific focus on the complexity of the interior, which might point to changes like the seats and the removal of the wood trim in favor of cloth features. But also rumored that changes were coming to features like the infotainment display in the dash and updates to the camera and sensor suites. And then also no surprise, but Hardware 4 would be incorporated on the redesign. And they do say that that would include, with the new front fascia, a bumper camera. So that remains one of the biggest questions on Hardware 4 right now is if there are going to be additional cameras added like we had seen suggested from some other leaks. We've yet to see that in production vehicles, but of course there was one on the production beta Cybertruck. They say upgraded speaker system like we've heard elsewhere, but been told to expect minor improvements. They say some power efficiencies from removing some sensors, including utilizing GPS-based data. There may be a more robust air filter. Along with the new taillights, the rear bumper appears to have also undergone a redesign and now features a diffuser. Diffusers, which are intended to boost downforce at high speeds by accelerating low pressure air beneath the car and channeling it into the back section of the car, were installed on the early prototypes of the Model S Plaid. Additionally, smoothing out this airflow and decreasing drag can also aid in handling, so there's a chance the new Model 3 could be introduced with a more performance-based option as many EV enthusiasts are eager to take their vehicles to the track. They say other changes include matrix LEDs on all trims and redesigned RGB ambient lights, which they also say are coming to the Model S and X as part of a quote-unquote secret minor refresh. 
tentatively happening within the next two months or earlier. We've also got news that at Giga Shanghai, Model 3 production is significantly slowing down for two important reasons. One is that apparently at Giga Shanghai, according to a couple of sources, they are the ones building the first batch of prototype Model 3 models that have this refresh design. So those are actually being worked on and rolling off the production line as we speak. And also they are significantly slowing down output because they are continuing to retool their manufacturing process to build these all new cars. We're seeing it happen at Giga Shanghai. We're seeing it at Fremont as well. They are retooling their line uh, actively to uh, accommodate the new changes with this model. So that's all happening now as production should ramp up to full-scale production for this new model sometime in Q3. So possibly Fremont and China at the same time will be pumping out brand new Model 3s with this new design sometime in the next couple of months. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,